the religious imaginations of the ancient Egyptians picture a third generation of God Amon represented in the octonary as his children. God Amon himself is one of the members of El Ashmonin octonary, but these are the children of Amon im Ibet, the father of the father of the octonary, which is his title. This octonary had a helping role to him in completing the creation operation, for they have created the light and the sun Ra. Amon im Ibet was described as Hur, son of Isa, or Isis, and here he represents a third generation and a last one within the frame of the three generations of Amon. According to Zeta, he comes here as a son of Amon in Ibit too, and a grandson of Amon, who is a grandfather, Amon Kim Etav, and that's within the context frame of Kamut F of God Amon. The connection to the concept of fertility is what facilitated for God Amon in Ibit to carry on his role in connecting between the three generations, the father or the great-grandfather, and the husband, and the child, and therefore his visits to his ancestor's grave serve the purpose of joining between the different periods of time, the past, the present, and the future, which are embodied through three generations. The purpose of the connection of Amon with the title of Kamut F is to connect him with the concept of fertility, which confirms the self-existence of the god, which makes Amon a joining ring between his three generations, and thus connects him with the three creation theories that preceded him. So it connects him with god Pitah in the theory of creation of Memphis, and with god Ra in the theory of creation of Ain Shams, and finally the octonary of Ashmonin in the theory of creation of El Ashmonin. <laughs>